Good morning, dear all. Before moving on to the topic, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been in a situation where you have to buy a gift for someone? What are the important aspects you consider? Price, quality, quantity, or maybe a combination of three, right? Similarly, with managing a business, funds are extremely important for any business to sustain. Friends, today we are going to deal about the topic sources of finance. This is Dr. Shiba K. H., Assistant Professor, Department of Business Administration, MBS College, Warrandilly. So, dears, business simply cannot function without money, and the money required to make a business function is known as business funds. Throughout the life of business, money is required continuously. Sources of funds are used in activities of the business. It can be categorized on many aspects, time period, ownership, control, etc. So basically speaking, when you need finance, where do you turn to? Aha, practically speaking, friends, right? But that's not exactly the only uh, source we have left with. We have umpteen number of sources. So today, we'll just deal with the broader classification. And I'm not going to the core aspect since this is a, since this is a short video. Okay. So on the basis of period, the funds are classified into short term, mid term and long term. So friends, what is actually called as short term source of finance? And why is it called as on the basis of period? See, when you need finance for your business, it might be for a shorter period or it might be for a longer period or a, or, or a timeline between the both, right? So this is what you call as on the basis of period. When you need fund uh, for less than say three months to maybe maximum of six months, then that is what you call as short term. When you need money for more than six months but less than a year, that is what you call as mid term. And when you need fund for a longer source, for a longer period, say maybe uh, from uh, three years, five years, ten years, then that is what you call as long term sources of uh, finance. Okay, so on the basis of period, you could be classified as short term source of finance, mid term source of finance, and long term source of finance. Next on the basis of ownership. See, the fund you use for the business could be your own capital, like you brought from your home, it is from your company, it is from your relatives, whatever, it belongs to you. Then it is called as owned capital. But in majority of the cases, we know majority of the entrepreneurs are self-built, do not have anyone to give provide arms to. So they have to start everything from scratch. In that grounds or on that grounds, the capital could be raised from outside, might be taking up a loan or issuing of debentures or bonds, etc. So borrowings basically. So that is what we call as borrowed capital. Okay, that is on the basis of ownership. When you own it, it is owned capital. When you do not own it, but you borrow it, it is called as borrowed capital. The third is on the basis of source. You already have your fund with you, maybe from the profit you have, uh, or you know, or like stashed from your previous projects, and that the fund is there with you, sufficient amount is there. Then you do not need to raise many more funds from outside sources. Then that is what we call as internal source. You already have the fund with you, that is internal source. But for the new companies, the new emerging companies, new uh, newly established firms, they do not have this part, this advantage with them. So whatever amount they need, they'll have to raise it. Then that is what we call as external sources. Okay, uh, so that is internal source of finance and external source of finance. The last one is on the basis of mode. Mode is actually the form in which you get cash. It could be in the form of shares. It could be in the form of debentures. It could be in the form of, uh, let's say, factoring clauses where you can save money in the form of uh, many of the offers, discounts, installment dues. So all those where you can save money a bit, you can uh, time, you can like to get money to uh, roll. That also, that are all the uh, type we call as mode of financing. So on the basis of mode, we can classify the sources into three. One is security financing, which deals exclusively with shares and debentures. Next is internal source of financing, where the company raises the fund, like we stated above, the company raises the fund from its own, uh, its, its own firm's business, previous activities. 
The third is loan financing where you are going to raise the fund from commercial banks or from development banks and or maybe through short term deposit schemes okay so all those are on the basis of mode so um, in a summary or in a nutshell we can say source of finance are categorized into four on the basis of period on the basis of ownership on the basis of source and on the basis of mode okay and on the basis of mode we are classifying it into security internal and loan financing we are going to look more into about security financing that's the only aspect which i'm going to cover today okay so like we all know what is security financing like i've already discussed this part this is security internal and loan financing so i'm going to quickly skip this slide like i said i'm going to focus more into security financing so like i said security financing exclusively deals with shares and debentures so let me ask you a question what is a share See, it is nothing but a share is the share of a person in the share capital of a company which is equivalent to stock unless and until a difference is being quoted in expressed or implied okay in simpler terms it is nothing but when you have to raise fund for your company and you have nothing to provide as a security what you have is the name like the ownership the title ship you have to the company you have only that to pledge so what but you cannot sell it because you need fund to run it so you cannot sell the company right but you have your entitlement rights like you are the owner rights so what you're going to do is you're going to divide these ownership rights and you're going to provide a bit, a bit of a portion of it to different persons so when you provide these rights to different persons they become owners just like you so you may be the major owner the real owner but of course by giving you the fund they also become the owners so this is what concept behind share okay so debentures it is a quite different aspect debentures is where uh, you are going to raise money from outside sources like a liability so you have to return the cash at one point of time anyway okay so this is a basic difference between shares and debentures i'm not going into much uh, detail into it so i'm just winding up right now uh, because it's a short video like i mentioned so we are just dealing with the basic aspects what is uh, source of finance what's the relevance of it and how are it's categorized and what is security financing and what does that exclusively deal to obviously and of course i'll be dealing with another session where i'll be going much into detail about security financing okay so until then hope you all stay safe and healthy see you bye thank you